condensation is the process of conversion of process of conversion of water from gaseous state gaseous state to the liquid state to the liquid state so obviously what it will do it is nothing but a reverse of your evaporation evaporation ka apde straight uh, opposite la appo evaporate pannumbodhu energy absorb panna condensation nadakkumbodhu enna agum energy would be released so it is a heat releasing process okay so gaseous state la the body vapor is again transformed into your liquid state so what it will do it would release the energy heat releasing process exothermic exothermic in nature and that heat is known as latent heat of condensation latent heat of condensation and when does condensation occur condensation occurs only in a saturated air so saturation is a prerequisite for condensation saturation is a prerequisite for condensation saturation of meaning in a relative humidity 100 percentage so saturation on air la da condensation nadakku it is general exception optional la exceptions therinjikanga oru vela relative humidity 75 percentage of मेन्टेन <laughs> அப்படி இல்லனா when the rate of condensation is higher என்னோட water gas or the water vapor is been converted into liquid அப்ப relative humidity is been lowering down but due to a heat releasing process condensation is a continuous dynamic process so even after relative humidity drops up to 75 percentage presence of hygroscopic nuclei hygro hygroscopic nuclei continues the process of condensation continues the process of condensation in the conceptual clarity purida panna condensation nadanda ipo idha enoda air irunda 10 vapor me கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமா என்னவா மாறிட்டு இருக்கு இந்த பேப்பர் பேப்பர் வந்து லிக்விடா மாறுது இது லிக்விடா மாறுனா ரிலேட்டிவ் ஹியூமிடிட்டி டவுன் ஆயிட்டு இருக்குன்னு அர்த்தம் இல்லையா அன்லெஸ் அன்டில் நியூ வேஃபர்ஸ் ஆர் வேஃபர்ஸ் ஆர் ஆடட் த்ரூ தி process of evaporation evaporation பண்ணோனா evaporation அவ்ளோ இன்டென்சிஃபைட் ரேட் ஆஃப் evaporation and rate of condensation குள்ள கம்பேர் பண்ணா evaporation விட condensation is a more dynamic continuous and higher rate of process ena heat releasing evaporation க்கு heat absorbing process it is a slow process அப்ப obviously condensation தொடங்கும் போது இருந்த saturation condensation நடந்துட்டே இருக்கும் போது இருக்க போறது இல்ல கண்டிப்பா air குறைய ஆரம்பிச்சிடும் அதனோட water vapor content குறையும் ஆனா because of the nature of condensation it continues this results in the formation of clouds meaning purida the water droplets even though relative humidity koranjalum kuda 
கண்டன்சேஷன் நிக்காது கண்டன்சேஷன் தொடங்குறதுக்கு தான் சாச்சுரேஷன் தேவையை தவிர்த்து கண்டன்சேஷன் கண்டினியூ ஆகுறதுக்கு சாச்சுரேட்டட் ஏர் இருக்கணுங்கிற அவசியம் கிடையாது புரியுதா 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 Saturation is a pre-requesting for condensation that on for this one. என்னோட <laughs> 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 சஸ்டெயினபிளா வெச்சுக்கோ அப்போ ரிலேட்டிவிட்டி செவன்டி ஃபைவ் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆனாலும் கண்டன்சேஷன் கண்டினியூ ஆகும் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகுறது தான் எனக்கு என்ன தேவை ரிலேட்டிவிட்டி ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் இருக்கணும் அதுக்கப்புறம் கண்டிப்பா ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் இல்லது இது குறையும் இது குறைஞ்சாலும் கண்டன்சேஷன் நிக்காது வெரி வெரி ரெலவன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் சாச்சுரேஷன் நடக்காம கண்டென்சேஷன் நடக்காது ஆனா சாச்சுரேட்டட் ஏர் இல்லைன்னா கூட கண்டென்சேஷன் கண்டினியூ ஆகும் ஒன் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆயிடுச்சுனா ஆனா கண்டென்சேஷன் நடக்கும்பா ஆனா ரேட் ஆஃப் இவாப் லெட் மீட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இப்போ ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஏர் இல்லையா ரேட் ஆஃப் இவாப் பிப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் ஏர் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் ஏர் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் ஏர் This is where your condensation begins. Condensation begin on either 99.8, 99, 97. Now, the rate of evaporation is not enough. In this case, the rate of evaporation is not enough. In this case, the rate of evaporation is not enough. In this case, the rate of evaporation is not enough. In this case, the rate of evaporation is not enough. அப்ப ஹண்ட்ரட்ல இருந்து இவாபரேஷன் குறைஞ்சா ரேட் ஆஃப் இவாபரேஷன் வில் பி ஸ்லோ டவுன்ஸ் ரேட் ஆஃப் இவாபரேஷன் ஸ்லோவர் டவுன்ஸ் அப்ப இத காம்பன்சேட் பண்ண கண்டென்சேஷன்ல இருந்து ரிலீஸ் ஆகுதுல எனர்ஜி அந்த எனர்ஜி அந்த வாட்டர் மாலிகியூல் யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கும் யூஸ் பண்ணி மறுபடியும் அது மறுபடியும் அது என்னவோ கண்டென்ஸ் ஆகிட்டே இருக்கும் எவாபரேட் ஆகுது ஃபசிலிட்டேட் பண்ணோ தேர் பை கண்டென்சேஷன் கண்டினியூஸ் ஓகே அதிகமாகும் <laughs> Dew point is my saturation. Apo over saturation na rin kuno na temperature korey na. Temperature korey na rin condensation na rin kuno. Condensation na rin kuno 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 na லாங் ப்ராசஸ் ஆ இருக்கும் ஒன்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆச்சுனா அது சஸ்டெயின் ஆயிட்டே இருக்கும் செயின் ரியாக்ஷன் மாதிரி சஸ்டெயின் ஆயிட்டே இருக்கும் கண்டென்சேஷன் ஆர் டிவைடட் இன்டு 3 இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் टाइप्स ஃபாக்ஸ் ஆர் டிவைடட் இன்டு 3 இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் टाइप्स ஒன் இஸ் யுவர் ரேடியேஷன் ஃபாக் Next one is advection fog. And the last one, frontal fog. So radiation fog is formed due to due to intense 
cooling of earth. So when the earth's surface is cooled down through the process of radiation, lower temperatures at the lower atmosphere would induce what? Induce condensation. And condensation at lower atmosphere is known by the name fog. Right? So radiation is the cooling effect in all form of the fog. And it is further divided into two. Radiation fog is further divided into two. The most common one, ground fog. And the other one, upper air inversion fog. Okay, so ground fog and upper air inversion fog. So what is ground fog? We know ground inversion, surface inversion, meaning whenever there is a cold or snow covered region or ice or snow covered region, and thereby this atmosphere would be cooled down. The temperature would be very, very low. So temperature is low. <laughs> Then what the other condition? Clear sky. Clear sky or cloudless. Cloudless nights. Cloudless night, clear sky, little or no wind movement. If you in the condition, you can see the inversion condition. In the Madri surface inversion, Aranda, it would result in what? It would result in fog conditions. Earth, you know, ice covered because of more, more radiation. Energy has been lost, cooling affected, temperature overcome me, upper surface lay in a fog. This is ground fog. This is a day phenomena. Oh, I'm sorry, day phenomena. It happens within a day. Meaning, Ornal night and clear sky, cloudless night, wind movement, Edumela, and the Madri of situation in the, the next day and a foggy situation. Very, very short duration, short period or short duration. Whereas upper air inversion fog appearing, it also happens in stable air. Stable air mass. The same relevant conditions, clear sky, cloudless night, little or no wind movement, very, very low temperature because the ground is covered with the snow. When during longer winter nights, accompanied with the Accompanied with the temperature inversion. Accompanied with the temperature inversion. So long winter nights la either bit away or a longer period of time means snow cover orinal mara mara snowfall narandh marinal fog career. Continuous and snowfall in these conditions or longer period of time. So, if you have a stable air mass under the Yirkapina, upper create agarda, upper air inversion fog. Since the question is being asked, Konja it upon the detail of the better. Okay. Third, advection fog, second, advection fog. Idea for now. Fog conditions or condensation due to movement of air. Advection na in a advection na le horizontal movement of that. Yeah, so either la me in a static condition. Ground is stable, air the air le the movement to illa. Now is static conditions the form of the radiation fog. This is horizontal movement of horizontal movement of air. <coughs> and this can happen. Now chart a key over here. I'm getting there. Attraction in the separate heading here. Attraction for due to due 
due to attraction of air that is horizontal movement of air. Primarily due to horizontal movement of air, that is difference in a ground fog or radiation fog, stable air mass can that is moving air mass. Okay, so this is relatively dynamic. Compared to your ground induction, it is further divided into three. Advection fog is further divided into three. One is sea fog. Next is tropical warm air fog. And third is upslope fog. So, sea fog from the name signifies this happens relatively in mid latitude region. This is the tropical region. This is the mid latitudes. Mid latitude region, especially coastal region. Not necessarily always, but generally coastal regions. Generally, because it can happen within the interior also. Epo Nadakona, when warm air cools down over cold ocean waters. Due to due to the presence of due to the presence of cold currents. So advection current order basic principle energy. Whenever there is a thermal contrast, warm air, cold air is a thermal contrast. Obviously, thermal heat adding evaporation rate, more moisture, relative humidity low in the madri pagla. Cold air, intense cooling would create what? Intense cooling would create in saturation. So, saturation obtained under in the Mariana factors, mostly in the mid latitude region, le, coastal region. Le. Okay, sea fog in the pale, it is more common in coastal region. So, whenever there is a presence of a cold current, So here, this particular region, in the Gulf, uh, Labrador current, I mean, so like, or cold current, in the Labrador stream. Okay, this cold current will make this ocean water colder. Up in the cold ocean water manner, or warm air, Gulf stream. In there, no, it is known for the formation of sea fog. Sea fog is a type of advection. Air movement nala creates agra fog. Da. Okay, wa? more common in your coastal regions, therefore, the name sea fogs. In this condition, tropical latitudes that is known as tropical warm air fog, meaning the same condition. Warm air cools down over cold ocean waters. But not because of the presence of cold current. That is because of the warm air moving towards polar latitudes. Tropical, tropical warm air moving towards cold. Cools down when passing over when passing over cold surfaces, cold surfaces or regions resulting in the formation of fog condition. Formation of fog condition. 
okay such type of fox are known as tropical warm air fox idile rent examples irukke one these fox are also called steam fog steam fog or evaporation fog most common one is your arctic smoke fog peru ena thiruma idukku na refer pandrena tropical warm air fog nu solumbodhu warm air region nu nenachipom ana meaning illa warm air tropical regions la irundhu polar regions move aagudnala form aagudhu so endha edathila romba common arctic regions la common arctic fog steam fog So this is again an example of a advection type of fogs and the last one upslope fog ngirudhu enna va irukka mudiyum valley inversion nu paathom theriyuma what is valley inversion mountainous region la paaka koodiya fog da upslope fog mountainous region so the Uh, up slope up slope movement of warm air displacing displacing the cold air mass results in results in mountain fog mountain fog also known by the name up slope fog mountain fog referred to as up slope fog next it is always accompanied with the always accompanied with the inversion of temperature this accompanied with the inversion inversion of temperature mountainous region so fog conditions are formed along the mountains warm air and the cold air idla note panna vendi mukkiyana issue inga enna nadandhirukku movement of air nala create aagum movement of air la we are talking about cold surfaces cold regions which is being drained by warm air Okay, so this region in the advection is very very important. This is the advection. Up there by warm air and cold air, the thermal contrast induces a driving force. Condensation of this warm air has been induced by the cold nature of my surface. If the surface is a mountainous region, mountain valleys, this is what this is your upslope fog. If the surface region is polar region and the warm air is from your tropical region, it is known as tropical warm air fog. If this cold surface region is your ocean waters drained by cold current, and the warm air is by the relatively warmer air surrounding it, this results in your sea fog condition. अब वोन तक में ultimate mechanism or stable cold surface and a moving warm air. देखो उन जगह मुझे तो move and the warm air और the movement thermal contrast induces foggy conditions in the lower atmosphere. fog is nothing but cloud form that the ground surface near ground surface appo the cold region idu vandu edhana general picture neenga padikkiradhukku cold region sea a irundha adu tropical warm air a irukkum 
ஆனா சி ஆர் சி வித் கோல்டு கரண்ட்ஸ் that is your sea fog in the cold region mountainous slopes are na that is your up slope form very simple and the last type last type na frontal fog the frontal fog is the fog formed during frontogenesis frontogenesis meaning formation of temperate cyclone temperate cyclone of this separate topic here we will elaborately study the mechanism behind it but try to understand this occurs when convergence of convergence of two contrasting air masses thermally contrasting air masses that is warm air mass and the cold air mass when they collide with one another good air mass okay munadi class la or chinna overview paathu illaya whenever a warm air warm air mass collides with the cold air mass obviously a sloping boundary is formed air masses are there so this is my warm and this is my cold which one would be uplifted first warm air mass da kandipa along the sloping boundary and what is the sloping boundary called the sloping boundary is called your fronts depending upon the intense nature if cold air mass is moving at a faster rate it is known as cold front when the warm air mass is persuading towards the cold air it is known as cold warm front appo rendu me ipo idhe case scenario mana paatha advection current maadhi the cold surface ku badila ascending warm air move aagra warm air ana inga cold surface ku badila enna irukku or cold air mass irukku idhu da enna ungaloda frontal fog so kandipa along the front clouds are formed or fogs are formed at the lower surfaces this is known as your frontal fog idla rendu separate heading when the fog forms on warm front fog occurs along the warm front it is known as pre frontal fog or pre cyclonic fog and if the fog is formed along the cold front this is known as post frontal fog or post cyclonic fog cold front is a steeper front
எப்படி சொல்றது ரொம்ப ஜென்டில் ஸ்லோப்பா இருக்கும் எங்க வார்ம் ஃப்ரான்ட் அப்போ சோ கிராஜுவல் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபாக் வில் ஹேப்பன் தேர் இஸ் கோல்ட் ஃப்ரான்ட் த ஸ்டீப் கிரேடியன் இஸ் மச் மோர் ஹையர் சோ இன்டென்ஸ் அப்வெல்லிங் ஆஃப் யுவர் இல்ல இன்டென்ஸ் ரைஸ் ஆஃப் வார்ம் கரண்ட் சோ மோர் இன்டென்ஸ் ஃபாக் ஆர் ஃபார்ம் அலாங் தி கோல்ட் ஃப்ரான்ட் ரொம்ப ஜென்டில் ஃபாக் கண்டிஷன் இது ரொம்ப இன்டென்ஸ் ஃபாக் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ப்ரீ மான்சூனல் Uh, sorry, pre-cyclonic or post-cyclonic forms.